All right, hey y'all. We have a uh, little bit different of an unboxing going on today. Um, here at Canoe Club, we have a new brand, a new offering in the apothecary scent, smells, candle space. Uh, cool company out of the south of France called Madetlin. A uh, quick backstory about them. Um, they work heavily in seasonal fragrances, uh, take a lot of time and care into their packaging and presentation, uh, as you'll see from uh, the casing of this candle that I'm gonna get into. Um, but yeah, it's really cool. Uh, we were all very impressed here at the shop when we got it popped open. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously it smells good, but visually it's really cool. Uh, I'm personally excited about the packaging that the, the candle is actually sitting in, that the wax is sitting in. Uh, once you're done with it, you can absolutely find something fun and cool to use it for. Uh, but yeah, so this is uh, one of the three scents we have, Petit Papier. And uh, it's my personal favorite of the three candles. Um, as a, an explanation from a layman, it uh, has a very warm, uh, I would say certainly more like an autumn scent. Um, notes of vanilla, cinnamon, and a little bit of wood, I suppose. But let me pull this little top piece off here so you can see the wax. So it's got this beautiful black soy wax. It smells, mm, it smells warm, kind of like, kind of like, uh, it's got like a it's got like a spice a spice to it, but yeah. So just I'm just gonna highlight some of the packaging and talk about it visually. Um, now that you know, kind of my takeaway with the scent, but certainly more of an autumnal scent. Uh, this is this would be really nice uh, burning around around fall time as the leaves are falling. Um, so we got the soy wax here, a very sturdy metal container, very uh, raw and organic in nature and uh, aesthetics with some nice black tissue paper wrapped around the outside. Like I said, this would be something awesome to kind of keep uh, once the candle is used and, and burned. But so yeah, we have one of three candles here. Um, they all do have this similar look. Some have uh, regular soy wax, not black. So that is one of the candles, Petit Papier. Papier cannot recommend it enough. Um, if, you're in the, if you're in the mood to try a new candle, uh, hop into this, give it a go. Moving on to some other products we have, two other products. Uh, I was very, very surprised when we got these in. So it's got some lava rock in it, and it comes with this 15 milliliter, uh, you know, perfume recharge. And this just comes with a little dropper, and you can, uh, right now it has a scent to it already. This scent in particular, back Black Champaka. The Ohio in me is coming out saying that. Uh, it's got a really clean scent to it. I wouldn't say aqua, but kind of bordering on that on that realm. Um, but yeah, so you can just kind of, you know, drop a few drops from the dropper in here, kind of recharge it. I would anticipate this filling a room uh, very easily. In fact, we, we opened them up here at the studio and it filled the studio this morning. Uh, as soon as I walked in, uh, kind of like hit me in the face in a good way. But same sort of packaging that we have with the candle here. Um, very nice, sturdy metal. You can see sort of uh, some texture here. It's like a very like unfinished looking metal, which certainly plays into the aesthetic. And obviously these black lava rocks in there look cool on their own. Um, yeah, so this is the lava rock potpourri apothecary lava rock situation. Moving on. got amber rocks in this one. This is the title, Cypre de Max. Same situation as with the lava rocks, comes with a 15 milliliter recharge. Even more, um, even it stands out even more, obviously with these little amber rocks. I think they're beautiful. Uh, they, they pack a punch with scent as well. Maybe even a little stronger than the last scent, but it also might just be the scent itself. Some spice, I would say some citrus or fruity notes in that one. And yeah, you can just kind of toss a little dropper on it. This is cool in my opinion, not only for how it smells, because uh, obviously we like how it smells, we think that's cool, um, but it's gonna look really nice on a bookshelf or on your coffee table or on your, you know, somewhere in your room, on a nice shelf sitting in, on your room with some nice plants around it. But again, this would also fill a room very easily. 
and uh, something, something uh, nice. As you can imagine, these rocks are not going to disappear over time or deteriorate, so this is something that you would have for a long time. Um, then you could just buy one of these little recharge kits and toss it in there. So we've got the amber rock here. We previously saw the lava rock and a candle. Moving on to the last offering we have is going to be a regular spray scent. Kind of following uh, in, uh, in nature, both in aesthetics and smell. Let's smell this one actually. Hmm. I don't know, this one smells really good. Paname is how I would say this. Paname. Um, but yeah, so it has the all black packaging, 50 milliliter on these ones. Paname, 50 milliliter. So uh, yeah, gonna look nice on your shelf. It's gonna look nice in your collection of scents. In fact, I think this would be uh, the most visually striking if you had all of them, you know, arranged neatly in your in your cabinet, in your bathroom, or, or where have you. I have them on my uh, dresser in my room. But yeah, so the all black look with the gold foil and the black on black on uh, the paper lettering is beautiful. And yeah, um, I, I, I'm just super stoked. It's a, it's a new scent for us, a new scent company for us. Uh, it's been fun to kind of smell all the new scents and. I think we all legitimately have agreed that uh, they're all very, very, very nice smelling, but more than anything, uh, unique. So, uh, Mad Atlan, something to consider. Um, you know where to find them. Thanks for watching.